According to the International Diabetes Federation, every five seconds, one person dies from diabetes. Diabetes was responsible for 6.7 million deaths in 2021. Diabetes, also known as diabetes mellitus, is a group of metabolic disorders characterized by high blood sugar level of a prolonged period of time. If you have diabetes, you can present the following symptoms. Increasing urination, also called polyuria, increasing thirst, also called polydipsia, increasing appetite, also called polyphagia, and many more signs. I'm Dr. Eric. This channel is aimed to deliver information that promotes health and holistic wellness. All the information provided on this channel aims uh, for comprehensive and educational wow. purposes. If not subscribed yet, remember to subscribe to our channel now and activate the notification clock. Also, do not forget to like and share our videos with friends. Thank you. Uh, in history, diabetes was one of the first diseases to be described. An Egyptian manuscript dated 1500 before common year described the condition as the disease of too great emptying of urine. At the same time, Indian physician identified the disease and described it as a madumeha, meaning honey urine, noting the urine would attract and the term diabetes or to pass through or a siphon, which is a type of strainer, was first used in 230 before common era by the Greek Hippolenius of Memphis. During the time of the Roman Empire, the disease was considered to be rare. One of the greatest doctors of that time, Claudius Galen, commented to have seen only two cases during his long career. This is possibly to the, due to the diet and the lifestyle at that time. Claudius Galen named the disease as diarrhea urinosa, meaning diarrhea of the urine. In 400 and 500 AD, two types of diabetes were identified. A separate condition for the first time by the Indian physician Sushruta and Sharaka with type 1 being associated with young age and type 2 being associated with obesity. In, 19, in 1675, Thomas Willis added mellitus to the word diabetes as a designation for the disease, especially when he noticed that the urine of a person with the condition had a sweet taste, of course due to the sugar in it. The Latin word mellitus means sweetened with honey. But let's note that the sweet taste had already been noticed in the urine by the ancient Egyptian, Indians, Greek and Chinese. Effective treatment for diabetes was not developed until the early part of the 20th century when Canadian Frederick Bending and Charles Herbert Bess isolated and purified insulin in 1921 and 1922. This was followed by the development of the intermediate acting insulin NPH in 1940s. In 1980s, the number of people with diabetes mellitus was 1,8 million worldwide. In 2014, this number rose to 422, which represented 8.5% of the adult aged 18 years and older at that time. As of 2019, an estimated 463 million people had diabetes worldwide, which was 8.8% .8 of the adult population, with type 2 diabetes making up about 90% of the cases. The same year, diabetes was the direct cause of 1.5 million globally. In 2021, according to the International Diabetes Federation, 537 adults were living with diabetes, which is 10% or 1 in 10 adults. This number is predicted to rise to 643 million by 2013 and 783 million by 2043. Still last year, 2021, diabetes was responsible for 6.7 million deaths, meaning one in every five seconds. Five, 541 million adults have impaired glucose tolerance, which places them at high risk of developing type 2 diabetes. The proportion are even higher in some regions of the world, such as Middle East and North America. China is the country with the highest number of diabetes, worldwide, with around 141 million people suffering from, from the disease, followed by India 74 million, the United States of America 
7.3 million, which is 11.3% of the U.S. population, according to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention. With around 31% of the population living with diabetes, Pakistan has the highest national prevalence in the world, according to the International Diabetes Federation. According to the International Diabetes Federation, again, 24 million adults are living with diabetes in Africa. Do you know many people in your country live with diabetes? Share your country prevalence rate in the comment to raise the awareness. Do you know your blood sugar level? What's the impaired sugar level? From which sugar level do we define diabetes? Let us get the answer in our next episode soon. Thank you for watching this video on diabetes in history and today. Again, if you're not subscribed yet, remember to subscribe to our channel and activate the notification. Do not forget to like our videos and share them with friends. See you soon.